Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, uh, we are talking about Travis Homer, the Miami running back, in terms of his analytics profile. If you're new to the channel and new to the work that I do, all terms and definitions will be in the description. If all this stuff out of the way, let's get to his profile. So, and of course, special thanks to Patreon subscriber Ricky Sotelo uh, for giving this suggestion. Uh, I know it took a little bit of time to get this out. I got really swamped with collecting uh, data, particularly when it came to Pro Day data, because all the Pro Day data is just coming in left and right. But figured I need to get to this. I need to start putting more content onto the channel and do a little bit less researching. Uh, so this is that video right here. So first off, he had a 57.47 market share production score. Uh, pretty much doesn't hit the all pro or five-time pro bowl area but he does hit at least the three-time pro bowl area and when we look at the averages averages at the position this is where he runs into a couple issues when you look at the averages is that he's not really near the all pro average the pro bowl average the starter average he has good athleticism traits though he had a a, a pretty much 83.74 explosive lower body strength score, 57.84 speed score, and a 43.50 flexibility score. His flexibility testing is not the best it could possibly be, but that explosion score is above the 79 or higher trait, which again, when it comes to running backs, all multiple Pro Bowl to all pro running backs have at least one 79 or higher athleticism trait, and, and Homer has that in terms of his explosion for his size. He does have above average speed. When you're looking for comparisons from him, uh, in terms of production comparison uh, that I found, Tyrone Wheatley is probably the best or closest sort of successful running back uh, to have uh, that sort of production score. And when you look at athleticism testing, he's very similar to Jordan Howard. Uh, not as fast as Jordan Howard or as flexible as Jordan Howard, but has a similar profile. Has, has pretty much like Jordan Howard explosiveness without the speed or the flexibility of Jordan Howard. So that's kind of the closest sort of comparison I could find for him um, in terms of like a successful running back with his athleticism trait. So overall, uh, he's a really solid back. Uh, I think when you look at him, you want to make sure he goes to a zone blocking scheme uh, because when it comes to his athleticism gifts, he's someone that I think would thrive more in sort of a... Uh, a system where he kind of just finds the hole and explodes through it uh, and doesn't you know basically like a, a power scheme or a, if, it, if it's a scheme where he has to like cut back and 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 uh, and make a big play uh, with his speed uh, I don't really think he's going to do the best in that sort of situation uh, in, in terms of like making crazy turns in space I guess but if you're looking for like a one cut and go type system uh, is basically what I'm trying to get to. I think he can fit that really well. Well, that's stuff out of the way. Of course, my name is James Coburn. You can find my other work at DraftCobra at WordPress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Gymmetrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, share this video as well with anybody that you know. Hit that notification bell in case you want to be reminded when another video of mine drops. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.